Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, bitch, you have found me, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You guys, we're doing a kind of a different video today. Um, we are decorating, well, I'm decorating right now. My husband put everything up and I am in charge of decoration. So I thought since I was gone for a whole month, basically, I thought, hey, why not decorate and do uh, what I've been up to kind of videos. So grab a snack and a drink and decorate with me. Um, I have, so this year we always do like a different, um, like different kind of Christmas. So uh, like different uh, girl decorations. So this year we're doing traditional inside and then outside we have a pink gold rose kind of tree. And um, it's exciting. So listen, um, I, I'm gonna just decorate. I don't love these, but because we're doing traditional, they have to go on the tree. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not crazy about these, but my husband, he told me to just put them and whatever, bitch. Anyways, okay, so, um, oh, wow. I have a lot to tell you guys. Um, so you guys know that I went to Colombia. Uh, my husband and I, we have family in Colombia. My mom recently moved there to an island and his grandmother lives there and my real father's family lives there. So basically, I have, um, I have actually my dad when he and my mother split when I was two months, um, he remarried and had four other children, right? Which are now my brothers and sisters. Um, like this um so the thing about my relationship with them you guys is that i never really had a relationship with my father to begin with and that played a big role in my brothers and sisters i lived in you know i grew up in miami and they lived in colombia um so what happened was that when i finally came out of the closet uh, when I finally, I was like literally 11. But when I came out of the closet, my father, he actually did not accept it and neither did my uh, brother. Um, I had I had two brothers and two sisters. I have two brothers. I had, okay, listen. In June, I have four, right, in total. In June, unfortunately, the youngest brother passed away. He was 24. And... Um, that definitely brought my other three siblings and I together. So I have one younger brother and then two younger sisters and the one that passed away. And, um, I think that sort of like kind of sparked something in all of us, his passing that sort of told us, you know what, let's be together, let's really form this. Now listen, I had a lot of forgiving that I had to do, right? I, I did. I had a lot of forgiving that I had to do. Um, for me, my father never called me for Christmas. He never called me for birthdays. And I always sort of blamed them for that, right? Um, I don't like this, but he won't, I mean, the thing is, I chose last year, so he chose this year. Last year, I had gold, rose gold, and this year, he he said he you know it was his turn to choose. So, I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it work. Um, so, anywho, uh, I was I, w I I know that I was definitely blaming them for his abandonment, and that was wrong of me, right? Because it was not their fault. Plus, they were you know younger and. They, you know, they didn't know any better, right? So I, I, we went to Colombia and I gave myself an opportunity to let go of everything, to start over and to, um, to really try and be present with them. And we did. And I was very nervous. I did not see my father. Um, I 
was secretly praying that I wouldn't see him just because I would, I, I wanted to be present with them, if that makes sense. I wanted them to sort of have time with me and me have time with them. And I knew that if my father went, we wouldn't be able to do that because I would be probably concentrated in the, our past, my father and I's past. So that played a big, big role in him not going sort of really, it made me happy if I'm gonna be very honest with you. Um, and it was honestly, I have to tell you guys, it was really nice. I, I'm not used to them, so there was this like, sometimes I, I felt like maybe there, there would be some awkwardness, but it just so happens that there wasn't any awkwardness, you guys, and it really felt like we were, you know, I don't know, it kind of felt like we were really, really trying our hardest to love and accept one another. Um, and that made me very, very happy. I have, you know, I thought about my father and my relationship with him so many times. And, and I always felt like it wasn't really my job to get a relationship with him. It was, it should have been his job, right? Because I mean, I was two months old, you know, like, right? So anyways, um, it was wonderful to be together with them. And halfway through our uh, vacation, um, if you want to call it that, um, we also went and did like a bunch of doctor's appointments because obviously it's a lot cheaper over there, dentists, all that stuff. So we did that. And plus, um, my husband's grandmother lives there as well and his aunt. And there was some, pri you know, some family stuff that we needed to be present for. Um, and then halfway through it, um, then we went, you know, we were in Bogota, then we went to the island where my mom lives and I got an ear infection. And you guys know that if you have an ear infection, you cannot fly because that would literally be hell. So I was meant to go for four days to visit my mom. And then I ended up staying for two weeks, which honestly, I'm very grateful because um, we needed this time together about, it's going to be four years since my mom lost my stepfather and they were together for 20 plus years. Um, so she's still sort of, um, figuring out how to live life without him. And with the holidays coming up and stuff, it always sort of, you know, it, it ignites a lot of feelings and a lot of, um, a lot of uh, sadness, but also a lot of healing and grieving all at once, right? So um, I'm very grateful to God that I was able to get this ear infection, which meant that I stayed. The only thing is, of course, this island, it was raining every day, so there wasn't, uh, the Wi-Fi was horrible. Um, so I wasn't able to really post or anything, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take some time for myself with my mom. And of course I was, you know, I was in pain. So, you know, it was like, you know, I, anyways. Um, I, to be very honest, this vacation was, I don't wanna call it a vacation because we did, we did work, you know. Um, we are very fortunate enough that we can work from home. So we, we still got to work. Um, not only that, but our family needed us and, and I'm grateful for that. It is, uh, my siblings, my brother's first Christmas without my younger brother. And it is, it's very, very hard on them. So I was so grateful to be able to be there to give them warmth and also to receive warmth. Because one thing that I can tell you is that I know in my heart as well that I deserve warmth and if I could go back and tell little Sebastian and say, you're worth the love, you are worth the phone calls, you are worth the happy birthday messages. Um, I wish I, I'd known that back then, you know? Um, something that I am choosing to talk about, um, Mateo, something I'm choosing to talk about uh, to you guys is something private that um, I, I have not shared, but I wanted to talk about this because 
I think that it's my responsibility to, um, to, uh, to talk about this in a way. Um, I have always, and trigger warning, I will be talking about um, eating disorders. Um, I found out, I mean, I've always known it because I've always struggled with my weight, but I kind of confirmed it this, this past month that I definitely have um, an eating disorder. And this eating disorder, um, what it does to me is I overthink absolutely everything I'm gonna put in my mouth. I am so incredibly focused, obsessed with my weight, with how I look to others. And the reason that I came about knowing and confirming that I have this is because I don't know if you know this, but like Latinos, they're very, uh, at least my family, and I know that so many others, but the Latino household is very focused on if you've lost weight or you've gained weight or are you gonna have seconds? Are you not gonna have seconds? It's just a thing that you know you, we grew up with. And I came, I went, you know, and I, I, I had so many people say, oh my God, you've lost so much weight. You've lost weight, you've lost weight. Like you look amazing. Like this is the best you've ever looked. And in my heart, I was like, I didn't think I looked that bad before, but thanks for telling me that this is what I, how I need to look to look better. And so many people said, oh my God, you look so great. Keep going. You're, you know, you have, you're almost there. You have some pounds to lose. And I was kind of like, damn. You know, so I was very stressed out of eating and and in, oh, indulging because I was like, oh, if I see someone new, what if they don't say I've lost weight or, you know, it just sort of, and I've been dealing with this since I was a kid, right? Um, three in August, I, and I will be very honest with you, in August, I weighed 280 pounds and that was the highest weight I've ever weighed um, and I was very depressed over the summer and I, and I, and I think I just sort of like said, fuck it. Um, not only that you guys, but I now weigh 233 pounds. So I lost, uh, to 40, to 50, to 60, to 70, to, I've lost 50 pounds since August and I have not been doing it the healthy way. And the reason that I'm choosing to open up to you guys, which I normally would put this on my members only, but I know that in the holiday season, there is so many people stressed out about going back home or seeing family they haven't seen in so long. And it, it I know it can be very stressful, you know? And I, 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 that is why I was like, I'm gonna open up and just be honest with you guys about it. Um, because you're not alone in this. Like, it ha literally happens so much, okay? doesn't matter who, where your family's from, who they're from. I'm sure it's not only the Latino community. We all, I think we all experience it, you know, in any kind of community. So um, you're not alone, and it's really annoying. And I think it's also very important to um, to put in your boundaries and say, hey, I'm not comfortable with you giving your opinion over my weight. I was not that strong to do it but um i hope that you do and you you know you're worth being respected you know what i mean um so i am i'm acknowledging and i'm accepting the fact that i definitely do have uh an eating disorder um i am trying very hard to um I did seek help in Colombia about it. I, I talked um, to professionals and I decided that I'm going to see, uh, like I'm gonna try and set up like these online kind of therapy sessions. Um, I have been binging and then starving and starving and then binging and it's just sort of like this very toxic back and forth. So that is something that I definitely wanna work on. It is something that I definitely need to focus on um, and you know, since August, I, I've been eating roughly like 700 or five to 700 calories a day, and that is not healthy. And I do not promote that. 
And I think for me, it's very important to put the first step and make it, you know, public in case um, you are going through it. You know that, you know, we, we got each other, right? Um, I don't want to be any, I don't want to tell anyone how to handle their eating disorders or anything like that because that's not what this is about. What this is about is saying you're not alone because I know that we, 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 we all live in a personal private hell in our minds and that it is very difficult to get out of that. So I want you to know you're not alone, that I am here and, um, that, you know, we have each other to get, to get over it or, you know, to get through it. I mean, um, so aside from that, you guys, um, it was a wonderful, wonderful time, a time of a lot of reflection of what I want for this channel. Um, what I want to talk about. Um, I definitely want to branch out. I've heard a lot of you guys say that, you know, as much as you love the Britney content, we also need new ones. And I 100% agree. I think what I, I, I just, I love Britney so much that I just, you know, anything that has to do with Britney, I'm like all for it. But I also understand that, you know, I am pop culture. I'm not just Britney. So I will be, of course, um, going back to Housewives, which is another passion of mine. This one is pretty. And, um, and things like that. So that is coming for sure. I already decided and, um, and yeah, so that's honestly, you guys, that is kind of it. Um, I get, again, we're decorating. So I have the other tree. I have to tell you guys, I wanted to show you something real quick. Hang on. I'll be right back. Um, I wanted just to kind of show you guys that this is my husband's and I first tree that we had when we moved to LA eight years ago. I'm gonna share a very private, quick story with you guys. My husband and I, we arrived here. We didn't know anybody. We didn't have any money. Um, our parents helped us with the move with like the airline tickets and stuff, but it was very difficult the first nine months. We lived in a, in a hostel um, that was, quite dangerous and there was a lot of interesting people um but obviously you know we were very grateful to have a roof over our heads and uh we were both working i believe three jobs at the time um and when it was around christmas time my mom and his parents sent us oh no sorry we didn't we had one job at the time because we we got here in october this was december we, we got all of like our jobs in like January, February, March. We were both working literally like three jobs. Um, but in December, he had a job and I had like this part-time job um, and was not covering it. And he just started, oh, that's the thing. He just started his job, right? So keep that in mind. Um, so because he just started, he didn't get his check yet. So my mom and his parents sent us like our Christmas gifts and we were supposed to buy like ourselves like clothes or like a Christmas gift. So what we did was we bought, uh, we couldn't buy anything. So we bought some food and we paid some bills with the money they sent us. So um, I got paid like my part-time job gave me my check. And with that, you know, I covered other bills and like, you know, part of the rent, whatever. And then he had his check coming up and it was like, it was December like 23rd. So we said that with his check, we would pay the rest of the rent and then we would take out you know, fifty dollars to have like a Christmas dinner and 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 maybe give each other go to the nine nine cent store and give each other a gift. Well, he was he had to take two or three buses to his you know his work, uh, and it was like being this like personal assistant to somebody. Well, anyways, when it was the day of his pay, um, he got totally um, ghosted. The man refused to take his calls he refused to pay him and he'd already went three hours away because that's where he got the job this was the day before christmas and we were you know he called my my husband called me literally crying um because you know he said what are we gonna do now like the rent like this, we weren't even thinking about christmas we we're thinking about like how are we gonna pay this rent on the first so he called me really you know really crying and I was trying to keep strong, you know, over the phone with him. But of course, when we hung up, I also broke down because I was like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? So I, I ended up calling my mom and she, I think we needed 
two hundred dollars more. So she sent us the two hundred. But I, I, I called her. Yeah, I called her that day. So, oh no, just kidding. We needed like a hundred and seventy dollars to complete the rent, and then we had like thirty left, right? So we said, okay. Um, I, I put aside money for my bus, and then we had like maybe $25 left. So what we did was we went to 99 cent store and we bought ramen and um, we bought this Christmas tree. And this was our first Christmas tree. This was eight years ago. And we bought like these, there were broken uh, Christmas ornaments. And so they were like 10 cents or something. So we decorated it and I remember we turned off all the lights. We, we I had some tea candles, we light them up and we, sat in our uh, with our laptop and watched like something we had ramen and i will never forget that christmas because even though we were so stressed out and we were so kind of scared and we were really alone i'm so grateful and thankful that we were able to to sort of not give up right and for me, this Christmas tree represents so much. And seeing now, like, you know, I have two Christmas, my three Christmas trees. Um, it, 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 it is something, not the material thing, but it is just something that it makes me very emotional and, but in a good way to say, to give gratitude to God for everything because I, I remember those days of eating ramen and, and I remember those days of, of sometimes not even eating, right? Um, and I just, I know that everyone's journey is different and, and I know that there's some people out there who are struggling and who are not, you know, in their best era, if you will. And I want to tell you guys that you are so entitled to feel the way you want to feel but I never want you guys to give up, right? I don't want you to give up. I, and I don't want you ever to think you're not worthy of, of happiness. You are not worthy of, of abundance because you are, right? And, and I want you to know that, always remember that. Um, and for me, I have to tell you that my favorite Christmas was that Christmas because it showed me that Christmas is literally not about, you know, anything else but to I wouldn't even say be with your loved ones because you know not everyone gets to be with their loved ones on Christmas I think the holidays in my opinion is like a survival right it's like survive like you 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 have you all the feelings come out in the holiday season and I think the holidays, in my opinion, and to be very honest, is it shows you strength because everywhere you look, there's families together, there's amazing gifts, there's so many things that, you know, love is in the air and people getting engaged. And I'm like, bitch, if you survive the holidays, you can survive anything, bitch. Like for real, right? So I think the holidays, in my opinion, this is beautiful and everything, but just being strong, standing your ground, fighting for a dream, acknowledging your mental, spiritual health, and putting yourself first, I think it's number one. If you're lucky enough to be with family and friends, that's amazing. If you get to receive so many gifts, that's amazing. But I think that any kind of holiday that is thrown in your face, like the holidays, and you're not in the right state of mind, I think the the most biggest gift you can give yourself is to remind yourself that you might not have the people you love or, or the material or the, you know, whatever the case is, or you're missing someone or someone passed, whatever it is. I think the key and the most important thing is to know that you can get through anything and that even though you're going through a rough time, you don't know what the next year is gonna look like. So never give up. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense, but for me, holidays and New Year's and, and birthdays, like they, I don't know, they always get me so emotional. Um, so I think just 
getting through things is like the biggest holiday gift ever. So anywho, um, I hope you enjoyed this chit chat video. I'm not sure if you did. If you did, I might do a couple more during Christmas because I know that a lot of us uh, might feel alone on Christmas. So if this kind of kept you company, then that's amazing. I'm going to continue to decorate. Um, I haven't really decorated. I just talked a lot. Anyways, I love you guys so much. I'm so grateful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you want more videos like this, let me know. All right. Mwah.